game of life is full of risk. You make strategic moves, maybe trying to take down a battleship or battling with words. It's a slippery slope where there are ups and downs. This may seem like trivial pursuits, but if you're not careful, this board game cafe may start monopolizing all your time. Victoria has a very strong board game culture. There's a lot of societies that get together and play games. There's a lot of houses where people come and play games together, but they've never really had a focal point with which to play. William Eaton and Jack Pinder have opened the Interactivity Board Game Cafe on Yates Street in Victoria. For almost two decades, Pinder ran the board game store on Fort Street, but now it's moved here and expanded into a whole new business. A lot of these games that they know, but they don't know the rules to, they want to try these games. So we opened this place up to enable people to play them and we'll help them learn the games yeah. and uh, yeah, play the games. This cafe has about 600 games, everything from party games to group games to strategic games, you name it. All you pay is $5 to come and play for hours. And if you really like a game, you can buy it. There's even food and drinks so you don't go hungry. A lot of what we do nowadays is very passive, you know, TV, movies, things like that. You're just watching a screen. Video games as well, you know, it's very looking at a screen. This is interacting with people. And you know, it's definitely gone a little bit in the last few years from our lives with all this technology. So that's the main thing, it's being with people. And people are great. And we wanna, you should be wanting to spend as much time with them. So it's just another way of bringing people together. There it is. There are games in here that I actually remember playing as a child. I wasn't big into board games, but there are, you know, the risks, the monopoly, the scrabbles. I grew up playing those games, but there are so many more that I have no idea how to play. I didn't even know they existed. But 65,000 games in this world, board games, that's an amazing number. The most popular game in the world has sold about 16 million copies since it came out in the mid 90s. Eaton discovered it a little after. It was Settlers of Catan. Really? Yes. Yep, that was, when was that? 2001, I believe. So I'd played board games obviously as a kid. We'd all played those, you know, Monopoly, Scrabbles, all those kind of games. And then, as with a lot of adults, they kind of disappear from your life as you reach, you know, your teens and your 20s. And yeah, I got introduced to the game back in 2001 and I was like, wow, this game's amazing. I've never played anything like this. The oldest game in here is from the 1800s called the Cottage Contest. The party games are obviously very popular. Cards Against Humanity is the one that seems to be coming out every single night. We have cooperative games are very popular right now, which is where everybody plays in the same team to beat the game. And if all else fails, there's always Scrabble. So I need more points. Last name, right here. Right there? Is it going to work? I think so. Double word. Works? Think so. Scrambling to double my point score, I'm Shetha Singh in Victoria.